Tim Burton fan artwork in progress using Prismacolor pencils and microns, micron pens sketched out with um, pencil. Designed by a high school diploma. Just a high school diploma. I'm listening to some more uh, Jordan Peterson. Turned it off right now. And, um, it, it's a trip. It's a trip to attempt to dissect your mind or to dissect your mind do your best to dissect your mind to um, remember your goals remember that urge that question of uh, what is the meaning to life what is my purpose and as, as I travel more as I meet more people to have more pleasant experiences, more and especially the negative ones too, because um, to me I like negativity because it makes me feel whether it's a bad person, a bad community, a bad environment, or a bad experience. Um, at those times, I ask myself, why the fuck did this happen? How did this happen? How can I keep shit like this from happening? I think with all the shit going on around the world many of us kick the can further down for the next generation or for someone else and say things like oh that's not my problem that's their problem that's not that's not my shit why should I care about that remember this uh, sexy ass bitch that uh mm -mm -mm. she had some skills but uh when I mentioned uh, problems overseas from other countries, that uh, I should we shouldn't just shut up about it. Uh, her fine ass said something like, "Well, that's not a, it doesn't involve you. What, what do you care about it?" And uh, it bothers me when when someone who has kids. I don't have kids. Uh, too much of a responsibility. It's, it's uh, not my fucking thing. But it disgusts me. It bothers me. I think it's pathetic. If you have kids and you're like, oh, that's not my problem. And they say, uh, you know, if we don't uh, take care of these uh, North Korean fucks, their their technology would it will advance uh, no doubt that they will be crushed no doubt that uh, China does not want any problems and I don't believe that they're about globalization I believe that they're just about holding on to their own um, piece of land but um, as North Korea will get their, um, become more advanced, become stronger, not completely, but bits of it, they'll become a more, uh, a deadlier threat, a deadlier force. And no, it's definitely not my problem. I don't give a fuck if uh, North Korea, if Pyongyang gives the orders to um, fire all artillery for effect on Seoul, Korea. Um, keep on shooting until the round's ammunition is, uh, is out. Um, no, I'm not going to lose any sleep over that. I'm not. Fuck them. Uh, let them fight their own battles. Let them um, stand up and fight. But I think if... Uh, we can tell our politicians, our leaders, and say, "Hey, look, man, we gotta, we gotta put pressure on these fuckers before they do that." 
because it's going to end up uh, real nasty. Real nasty. And, uh, well, military action or other sorts of shit to be done, can be done to, um, twist on Kim Il Sung's arm or whatever. Kim Jong Il. It's not Kim Jong Il. Kim Jong Sung, I believe. It's the son's uh, name. Here, our cancer, our main problem is uh, stupid feminism. Alleged, the alleged um, chains and shackles of racism, xenophobia, and all this shit. You, you know, if I ran into people that uh, don't like Mexicans, uh, I'm, I'm a little Mexican. Don't, or they don't date Latinos or. Um, probably think, oh man, you're from the hood, what good are you for? You don't have a degree, what good are you, good are you for? Um, yeah, I've come across people like that. Um, has it uh, stopped me from making progress? No. If anything, when I meet people like that, I'm just like, alright, well, that's not a business partner, that's not a customer, that's not a client. That's not a business I could associate with. Oh well, I better um, keep on networking, keep on pushing, keep on um, um, looking for more clients, new clients. Uh, improve my products and services. Um, yeah, but when I when people say, oh, "Well, you know, I'm not getting paid enough." Um, for uh, designing shirts, for um, tattooing, for this or that. Um, yeah, I don't. Um, I, I don't buy it. And when we, because it, it puts you in a state of, uh, it puts you in a state of belief to make you believe that you're a victim, and you're not. I could uh, stay here and tell you, um, oh no, but you know, they should have hired me because we live in America and that's not right and, and whatever the fuck, right? And in my head, I'm thinking, all right, it's his business, his store, his company, fuck him. If he wants to hire everyone from a certain race, a certain sex, fucking from a certain neighborhood, from a certain whatever the fuck. You know what? It's their business. Um, fuck it. Good for them. And if anything, it's just, um, what if we just compete against them? Or just work harder so you'd be like, fuck, you know, I don't, um, I don't think anybody holds the an overall monopoly on any sort of um, a bit of business or product or service. Yes, what well, smart ass is out there? You can say shit like, oh, what about Samsung? What about uh, Apple? Who are trying to limit the uh, and restrict the technology and patents on certain uh, smartphones? Okay, technically, we could uh, go down that road and say, yeah, that's true. But if you want to get into, if you want to start, start off small, right? Because I'm pretty sure none of you are going to start. I'm pretty sure not many people are going to start off with a billion dollar company, a billion dollar bank account, billion dollar bankroll. And say, oh, I can't want to do this, I want to do that. So I'm pretty sure you'll have the lawyers, the attorneys, the research and development people to take care of shit like that. But me, that I want to get into the clothing business, the fashion business, uh, silkscreen business, 
art print business. There's no one. There's no one saying, "Hey, not welcome." Hey, you can't be sitting here. Hey, you can't be um, designing. Hey, you can't be this or that. No. No. If if you were to see my relatives, the people that I grew up with, that uh, you'd be like, "Fuck, this guy's gonna just be a cashier at um." At Pet Boys, he's only going to be flipping burgers at McDonald's. He's only going to be doing um, manual labor, or um, or have some sort of job that um, is going to be blue collar. Possible he uh, will end up uh, homeless in prison and forgotten but uh no man I, I don't see that um it's look at these fucking hands it's pretty much the same as your fucking hands right open close and I could say oh but um, beyond that they have the reach the opportunity that um Many billionaires have, many multi-millionaires have. That's the ability to do. And it's, you know, people will say, "Oh, but you know, they got money, they got this, they got that." Don't, don't, don't think like such a fucking pussy. More than once, <laughs> I've seen. Um, People who um, come from fuck way fucking harder fucking um, backgrounds than me, way harder, become a uh, professional success and grow a, a nuclear family. Uh, look it up if you don't know what a nuclear family is. And they're content, they feel fulfilled, and they keep on going, keep on working. Keep on saving, keep on making shit happen. They didn't play the fucking victim card. They could have. They definitely could have said, Oh, but you see, um, we should be getting, you know, more welfare. We should be getting more ABT. We should be getting rights and this and that. And they could have just been acting a fool. And they could have stayed uh, somewhere at the bottom. But no, they didn't. They chose to, um, Push harder, read more, study more, practice more, network, try out new things, and um, they're definitely an inspiration. But there are people that are, will say, "Oh, look at them! Why is their house so big? Wow, they're lucky, lucky, fuck that, fuck that shit, not lucky." If you call um, being disciplined enough to wake up early and keep on working, keep on trying, that's lucky. Well, I guess that's a, a bit different. <laughs>